Hey everyone, it's Misty here. Welcome back to the scrapbookpal.com YouTube channel. Today we are making a fun card using some new supplies from Lawn Fawn. So this is Ping One Party that's part of their newest release along with the Let It Snow Die and these um, snowflake, 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 snowflake stencils. Oh my word. I ended up not using the stencils, but we are going to use the stamps and the dies to make a fun and quick card. So I'm going to start by stamping and I'm going to end up stamping two sets of these. So you're going to see two sets on the paper. I'm of the mind that if I'm going to make one card in color, I might as well just make enough images for two cards. I normally don't show that here on this channel, but I thought I would show it here. And I'm also coloring them in two different ways. So for our card, we're going to be using the blue, <clears throat> excuse me, the more blue igloo and the warmer tone penguins. So I am just using two colors here, 32 and 41, 32 to go across the lines to add our depth, and then 41 to just really kind of color it in. I'm not one that likes to use gray for icy tones. To me, it just feel, I just feel like it looks dirty rather than white. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, it's personal preference. Some people like to color really light. Some people like to do really dark shadows. Um, I kind of meet in the middle, <laughs> so yeah. For the penguin, I'm using my warm gray, starting with zero, zero on their belly, and then starting closest to their belly and then working out with my lightest to um, dark, excuse me, darkest to lightest. That's how I like to color. Again, it's personal preference. A lot of people do light to dark and then dark to light, again, to add in shadows, etc. And this to me is just a bit easier. And again, simple, quick, easy coloring. I didn't put a timestamp because literally I only show you a couple minutes because I'm only showing you me coloring the penguins, the igloo, and then the little hearts that are supposed to be the smoke. For their beaks and their fins, I'm using um, Rye R, yellow reds, 09 and 04. I mean, it's very simple shading. They're, it's a little, little tiny, so yeah. And then for the smoke, R46. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in the dies and use my wire snips to snip them apart. And I'm going to get these cut out. I like to use washi tape. I know a lot of people like the purple tape. I just, I was a planner and so I have a ton of washi tape. <laughs> so once I get through all of the washi tape, maybe I'll buy the purple tape. But for now, I'm fine with using washi tape. So we're gonna get these cut out and then we're gonna move on to the card. So I am using this Honey Bee shaker card die, or not shaker, excuse me, snow globe die. And initially I wasn't sure if I was gonna make a shaker card or if I was just gonna make a snow globe. So I end up do making a shaker card. So I'm gonna cut out the frame using some of this glitter paper from my stash and the actual frame of the snow globe. And then off camera, once I decide to make a shaker card, I do adhere some um, um, acetate to the back of that. So I decided to bring in this plaid paper from Lawn Fawn because I really, I wanted it to look like snow, like to be, have that winter feel without it being so literal. So I like using pattern paper for this kind of thing. So you see me doing that. And then I'm going to bring in these Sizzix adhesive sheets. These are my favorite thing ever in my life. If I have, you know, small die cuts or if I have die cuts that I don't want to spend a lot of time putting glue on, I will use these adhesive sheets. It's double sided. You saw me release, release the backer paper. Then you put your cardstock down on that. And then when it's done, you peel off the backer paper on the back and cut it out. So I decided that the let it snow and why it got pretty lost on this paper. So I decided to bring in some navy. So I'm actually going to do what's called a drop shadow. So I'm going to offset the white just a little bit off of the blue to give it that little bit of drop shadow. And it helps it stand out from that really light background paper. And you can see that there. And since I put adhesive sheets on the back of both of them, that one was easy to adhere. And then there's some on the back of the navy and this will help us adhere it to the pattern paper. Just make sure you're kind of gentle, especially if you have delicate um, dyes like snowflakes or something, you don't want to tear what you have. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this trick. I think I showed you guys this a couple of cards ago, uh, my cards ago, excuse me, where if you want to do 
um, die cuts and a shaker card, but you don't want the um, shaker elements to get stuck on the dies. You can just adhere some acetate over the die and then put the shaker elements between that and the top. So these are some, I think these are stars, snowflakes. I don't remember. They're from Nuvo. I believe um, they'll be listed in the description box down below along with all the rest of the supplies. I really love the way they look. They're not, again, they're not like literal snowflakes, but you, they have that wintry iridescent feel to them and I absolutely loved it. I did go around the edges of the um, snow globe frame with just some really thin strips of tape. I did one layer because this card is already gonna be kind of big, but if you were gonna hand deliver this card, I would go ahead and do um, a double layer. That way your shaker elements shake a little bit more. So I trimmed off the blue paper because I just wanted it as a background inside my shaker. And then I'm bringing in my elements. I didn't show you coloring the lights because I ended up not using them, but I really, I colored them with one color. So it was YR9, R46, and then I think G11. And again, just really simple coloring. I apologize for the glare because I have lights above my head. <laughs> So I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere the penguins and stuff down just with regular adhesive. I brought in a piece of light blue cardstock from my stash, and that's gonna be our card base. And then this is a pattern from the, um, I think it's Perfectly Plaid by Lon Fun. One of my favorite color combo, com no, excuse me, color combinations for winter or Christmas is Red and aqua. I don't know why I love it so much, but I really, really do. So you got some elements of that here. So it's a little bit of a red and blue, a red and aqua um, Christmas card, and I really, really like it. So I am adhering the images directly to the acetate with just using some tape runner. And again, I thought I was gonna be able to use those lights, but in the end, there just wasn't enough room and it just looked weird either way I did it. So I'm gonna go ahead and nix those and bring in, um, we're gonna do a little heart. There's a heart stamp and a heart die. I just went ahead and used the die because I decided to just cut out a little bitty heart um, from some glitter cardstock that I had in my stash. and we just need the tiniest little bit of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off a little bit of it and then we're gonna go ahead and add the heart die with again some washi tape and then run it through the machine. At the same time, I couldn't decide, I felt like I wanted a base. So initially I thought red because I would pull in a bit more of the red from the background paper and also from the smoke and then the heart. So initially this is what I went with. So when I sit down to design, sometimes I have like the exact card in my head. And sometimes I have to kind of edit or try different things um, to see what works. So initially I thought red base. And then I was like, I don't think I want the red base. <laughs> so I ended up changing my mind. I did hear that heart with a dimensional, um, with a pop dot and I used the Nouveau to go over everything. But I decided I wanted to bring in a bit of navy. We only have that touch of navy that's working as the drop shadow, and I thought the darker color kind of anchored this card more. So I'm gonna hear that with some um, foam tape again, that way it would stick a little bit better to the base. So let me know in the comments down below if you would have stayed with the red base stay with the silver base or if you like the navy. I'm really interested to know what you think in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are having an amazing October and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.